local weather with the KX Storm Team. And good morning. It is 616. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got this westerly flow and we're nice and clear out there for most of us, starting off uh, nice and mostly sunny. And in fact, many of us will end nice and mostly sunny. That's your KX Cam in uh, downtown Bismarck, watching that sunrise over the buildings and looking beautiful to start the morning off with. Might need that very light jacket or light sweater because we're in the 40s now. 48 in Bismarck, 46 in Minot, 43 in Watford City. Light and variable winds. If they had to pick a direction later today, I'd say probably northerly, but many will stay light and variable. We're not looking at very strong wind for today with highs back in the 70s. In fact, you can see here a lot of upper 70s looking pretty warm on this Friday, and we'll keep it mostly dry as well. We do have a slight chance for maybe a few showers to develop down towards the southwest, possibly with some of the daytime heating. We could see maybe a small thunderstorm or two, but it's going to be this weekend that we're really watching where we have the most instability uh, heading into tonight. We could see some uh, late night, early morning thunderstorms that could become severe. This is all uh, kind of from this low pressure system that will be moving through Montana. We're on sort of the eastern side of that system, so a warm front will push through, and that's going to give us that instability. We'll be watching not just tomorrow morning, but through tomorrow night as well. But I've been saying that this is conditional. We've got this very nice warm layer over the upper atmosphere, and that really helps suppress convection. So, uh, you know, if we don't see too much in the way of severe weather tomorrow, that's because of that warm layer really holding back on those storms. Now, as we head into Sunday, that cap, that warm layer I was telling you about, isn't going to be as evident, but we'll have less moisture and more instability. Also, we'll have some sunshine, and we're pulling in some very hot temperatures. Of course, through the evening, with any moisture that moves through, we've got enough instability to see another round of severe storms. So, the Storm Prediction Center has gone ahead and issued a slight risk for most of us in even an enhanced risk in South Dakota. That's for tomorrow, and then we go into Sunday, where we've got an enhanced risk for Central and Eastern North Dakota. So both Saturday and Sunday are days that we want to watch. It doesn't mean that everybody's going to see severe weather. It just means that we've got the ingredients across much of the state for both days. The culprits, or in terms of the hazards, will be uh, hail and wind, especially on Saturday with any storms that do develop. We do have a, a risk for tornadoes, maybe isolated on Sunday. That would be our best chance. I just don't see that really being a as much of a factor on Saturday. Here's the forecast in Dickinson, upper 70s tomorrow, upper 80s on Sunday with some sunshine. Keep in mind that Saturday will also be a very windy day. We've got wind gusts over 40 for many. So even if you don't see anything in the way of storms, you'll more than likely feel the wind. Here's the forecast in Williston. I think Williston will be one of our windier areas where we could see wind gusts topping out at around 50 miles per hour. Most of us are around 40 and 45. Here's your mind on seven day forecast, really heating up on Sunday, upper 80s to around 90 cooling into next week where many will see 70s and then even some 60s are in the forecast. Here's your Bismarck 7-day forecast. I think we'll hit 90 on Sunday. It is going to be a hot one Sunday. We'll head into next week cooling off to the 70s and it looks like wind will probably stay a factor for several days and this forecast will be a little drier into next week. So a lot of variables here, but wind seems to be certainly uh, a likely one. Wind seems to be a consistent theme in this forecast. <laughs> Not so much today, though. Enjoy today. Well, it is North Dakota, so we should yeah, expect Yeah, so we're used it. to it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, Amber. Keep it